What's up, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Don's Lawns. Yeah, Don's Lawns is the best! In today's video, I'm going to be using my brand new Brindley Hardy spreader. And I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to run it through some trials and some tests. And we're going to see how it works. Okay, so I'm sorry about any wind noise that may be going on. It is a little windy this morning, but we've got to do what we got to do today. So, I did dethatch the Bermuda yesterday, took up a whole bag full of thatch material and clippings, so I need to go ahead and fertilize. It's also time to fertilize the, my St. Augustine for the fall, so I'm going to utilize that Pro-Pete 1358. It's a greens grade formula, so that'll be a good test for the Brindley Hardy spreader, and we'll see how well it handles greens grade size prills. And then I'm going to do that over the whole lawn, front and back, broadcast that 1358 at about half pound of nitrogen per thousand. And uh, after that, we'll talk about it. And then I'm going to move on and do the next test with Brindley Hardy's products. Now, this spreader is a lot like the Spiker spreader or the Chapin or the Earthway, the Echo. It's a lot like those. It's a pro grade, like a commercial homeowner, prosumer type spreader. This is the Brindley Hardy P2500BH. It is a 50 pound spreader. It has a bucket style container. Nice inflatable wheels. A sealed drive box or gear box. And then I opted to have the additional deflector as well. So that I had to install on there and the assembly process was really easy all you had to do was you know bolt on the handles basically everything was already put together and then I had to go and install the actual deflector onto it but the cool thing about Brindley Hardy's products is that they have all of their pieces and components if you ever break something they're all available online you can find them there on their website so if anything ever breaks or falls off or whatever the case may be I need to replace it or I want to add something I can find it on their website you always want to read your owner's manual before you get started with something going through here doing the assembly process and putting everything together like I said was real easy the handle basically just bolts on to the frame there and that's all you have to do the cool part about it all is because you know a lot of times people don't know what setting to use right they have a whole chart in the back here with all of the different settings for specific fertilizer, specific uh, items, you know, such as some of these are Stay Green, Vigoro, Spectricide, like for your, your grub and bug killer stuff, your pesticides, generic fertilizers. They have insect granules. All, the, all your major components are labeled out here for you to utilize. You may be wondering, how do you use the spreader? right well this is your control knob when it's back towards you it's open when it's pushed forward it's closed this really cool cover came with the deflector kit so that's pretty awesome it has a little grate here I'm gonna put that to use later and then once you get inside you can see Maybe there's the holes where your fertilizer will fall through. Here's the agitator. And yes, it is slightly above the bottom, maybe a half inch. So it will agitate whatever is up here and allow it to fall through the holes. So this spreader runs about $149 at Northern Tool. You may be able to find it at different areas as well, but locally that's where you can find it. Brindley Hardy sent this one to me for free, so I'm super excited, very thankful that they gave, an, gave me an opportunity to utilize their product and try it out and see how it works for me. We're going to go ahead and fill this up, fill the hopper up for my property. We're going to spread about uh, four pounds of product per thousand. That equals out to roughly half a pound of nitrogen per thousand. Uh, I'm going to treat about 3,000... Uh, square feet in the back, so that means I need 10 to 12. Might as well just put 12 pounds of product in here. So I'll eyeball it. I don't have a scale yet, so I'll just kind of eyeball it. But first thing, 
the grate I'm going to use to make sure I don't get any clumps, even though it's greens grade, you never know. I have the knob closed all the way. We're on top of a little concrete pad here, so I'm not going to spill any product. And I set the dial to about 12. We'll see how that goes. I can always dial it down more and uh, not have the holes open as much as well. So let's fill it up, 12 pounds or so, and then we'll spread. The spreader was smooth. It was real easy. I hauled my butt around and spread it out real quick. Used the deflector around the duck pin so I didn't get any, I mean pro -peat probably wouldn't hurt any duck, but I didn't get any spreader, uh, I didn't spread any fertilizer into the duck pin so I used the deflector around there. <sighs> I'm a little out of breath, I was hauling butt, but that worked pretty good. Cool. All right, so next step, to test out this product, or to test out the Brindley Hardy spreader, is we're going to use a uh, pesticide. A little different material, different size maybe, so it is fall, we need to get some pesticide down to try to control some of these kind of fall bugs and spiders and ants and things that are gonna migrate around. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread this. It's not a review video on any of these products, I'll do a different video another time on them, but we're gonna go get this Bayer Complete Insect Control down onto the ground and use the Brindley Hardy spreader.
Wow, that was easy. The spreader works really good. I do like the lever system. I'll have to get used to it because I'm so used to the Scott's handle, but this is pretty simple, easy to use. My one complaint so far is maybe I should not spread with the grate on there because I can't see how much product is left. I don't know if you can tell on helmet cam here, but sometimes I can't see how much product is actually in there still. So that's my fault, user error. Maybe I shouldn't have the grate on whenever I'm spreading so I can see the product a little easier, but my fault on that one. Again, if the agitator was a little lower, probably get more product out quicker, but it does a great job. The flow is pretty steady and consistent. So, <sighs> so far so good. All right, guys, that pretty much sums up today's video about the Brinley Hardy 50 pound broadcast push spreader. It worked like a charm. It spread the greens grade pro -peat, super easy, spread it like butter. And then the complete insect killer, a little bit larger granule, spread it super easy as well. Side deflector on mine worked great around the duck house, around the duck pen and around the garden. So highly recommend the product. Like I said earlier, it's about $149 at Northern Tool. Make sure you guys go check it out if you're interested in upgrading your uh, spreader from the Scots or from something else. You wanna get something a little better, this might be the ticket for you. Thanks for watching today's video. As always, make sure you hit that like button, tap subscribe down below. Hope to see you in the next video. Best of luck in the lawn. Yes, I ran over a dog turd. I should have picked him up before I filmed today. Dang it. I hate it when that happens.